Remember that time you had overnight guests and you thought in the morning, I'll just make some pancakes, it'll be thrilling, and you just happened to look at the expiration date on your box top and it expired two years ago? Yeah, that happens to me all the time, more than I'd like to admit. So there is a way to extend the life of your pantry staples, and I will show you a few of those. Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Let's talk about coffee. Now, if you're big coffee drinkers in your house, you probably don't ever have to worry about expiration dates. But if you're like we are in the come on over house, we don't really drink a lot of coffee. We usually just have it on hand for guests. In that case, ground coffee is not my best friend because ground coffee only lasts two weeks once you open that bag. It'll go stale, it won't be as good. So we go with coffee beans and we fresh grind them. We also fresh grind them because it's a different grind for the French press, which is what we serve. But if you're just gonna serve regular old coffee, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I love coffee. You can use coffee beans because these beans, whole beans will last for two years. And how they will last is in your freezer. Everything freezes. That's right, you could put ground coffee and coffee beans in your freezer. And that's what we do. Moving on to sugars. So if you bake a lot, you probably don't need to worry about your sugar stash, but I don't bake a whole lot. I bake during the holidays or for special occasions. So for that reason, I need to seal all of my sugars. White sugar is in a jar like this, it is sealed, but if it's not sealed, it could clump. And that's when I would need to put it in a bag and store it in the freezer. Yes, you can store sugar in the freezer. I would rather store it in this little jar and see how much I have. So I do vacuum seal it in here. Brown sugar, as you know, will get dry and clump. Now those are for coffee. They're supposed to be dried and clump, but your brown sugar can get that way too. So you can seal it inside of a bag and it should stay in great shape for quite a while. You can also put a marshmallow in there with it and it will help keep it very soft and ready to go. Powdered sugar, same kind of idea. You wanna put it in a jar and seal it if you can because powdered sugar is prone to pests. I'm looking at you weevils and other gross things, ants. You ants stay back. The bag is okay, but it's not as durable as say, one of these Ziploc bags. So store this properly in a jar is ideal, bag is okay. Moving on to flour. Now flour, as you know, if you are a baker, even if you use flour all the time, it can get weevils, in fact, that's what happened to the pancake mix that was expired, weevils. And weevils are gross little critters that are crawling around in your, oh, they're just so gross. You don't want that. If you see weevils, throw it out. You don't want to use that mix whatsoever. Nobody wants to bite or crunch into a weevil. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Bag. <laughs> so for flour, you can store it in an airtight container, especially if you're gonna use it up pretty readily. If not, you want to put it inside a freezer bag and get all the air out that you can, zip it up, and guess what? This will last quite a while in your freezer. And pro tip, if your flour comes from the freezer, you won't get that poof of flour residue cloud coming up into your hair and your eyelashes and your eyebrows. Nope, it won't happen because it dampens that dust if it's in the freezer. Okay, speaking of flour, how about bread? Well, let's say you buy this great loaf of bread and you're loving it, but it's just you, or maybe it's just two of you. Within three days, this bread is gonna start to break down, mold, get crusty, stuff you don't want. Three days, folks. But if you put it in the freezer, it will last three months. That's right. You can put pieces of wax paper in between them and pull them out individually if you want to, or you can do what we like to do, and that's buy a half loaf 
because we're pretty sure we're going to use a half loaf in a week. You can also store it in the refrigerator and extend the life a little bit. And finally, nuts. Now, if you've ever bitten into a rancid nut, you know it. The taste is awful. You're standing over the sink or the trash can, <laughs> spitting it out. It's horrible. The only way that I know of to extend the life of a nut is to put it in the freezer. And we have a really great collection of all different kinds of nuts that we use in recipes in the freezer because these nuts will last up to two years in the freezer. The reason that they get rancid is that nuts have a lot of natural oil in them and that oil just goes bad. You know, if you've ever taken out your olive oil and you haven't used it in a while, it's a good idea to test it because oil can get rancid and you don't want that. Also, you'll notice if the nut has turned brown or black, that's a no-go. Even a black walnut should not be that level of black. So let's not test those out too many times. Let's just go ahead and put these in the freezer. They chop up, bake up beautifully right from the freezer. So the next time you're thinking, should I clean out my pantry? The answer is yes, as should I. And while you're at it, take a look at all the expiration dates on anything that you can find. You thought I was kidding about this pancake mix? No, it expired almost two years ago, January 2022. Don't know why, I need to make more pancakes. Check out those expiration dates, package them accordingly, and that way you will have the best ingredients for the best foods you possibly can. Remember, blah, blah. but if you're like us in the, I'm going to start that whole thing over again. Okay. Here. Now, if you're big, starting again, no matter how long we keep it. Be, well, it does matter how long. Shoot. Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.